Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Previously, we defeated the seventh gym leader in Johto, Price. And then we got word that Team Rocket was up to no good with the radio system and Goldenrod, so we flew right on over, kicked a whole bunch of Rocket butt, and freed the kidnapped um, president of the radio company. And he gave us a card key to let us into the highest floor of the building. So we'll go there right now and wrap, wrap up this Team Rocket business. So looking at my team, I think we're as good as we're going to get, honestly. Should be here on the third floor. Here it is. Now we can get through and fight this guy. Why did the door open? Did you have something to do with this? Oh man, I just realized you can see the eyes in the back of Slow King's head on the field sprite. Ugh. Ah, Raticate. Level 24. Yeah, getting a bit higher. No Super Fang, please. Or is it Hyper Fang? Which one is the cut HP in half one? Well, anyway, with a quick claw, I don't think it matters. Coughing. Um, which would be better? Confusion, do you think? Yeah, we can give it a shot. This is still same type attack bonus. Perfect. And we were actually faster than it. That's pretty nice. Gulp, this is a bleak moment. What? You made it past our men in the underground? How could you have? It's called skills. You look unique. Who are you? It's Proton again? Now, wait just one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at the Slowpoke well? I see. You're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of a Team Rocket executive's wrath. Well, you aren't going to be the first executive I beat today. Okay, technically I beat the last executive a few days ago, but... Whatever. Gold Bat. This calls for a nice old Ice Beam. Own Tempo prevents confusion. Ooh! Oh, Matoya. You're perfect. I love you. <laughs> I didn't even remember that ability. What a surprise. Okay, I forget how many Pokemon Proton had. What is, was it three? Two? Okay, a Weezing. This thing is definitely, definitely going to survive this first confusion. Level 33, that's actually kind of a threat. Um, don't use Explosion or Self-Destruct. I think Matoya can take it, but... Uh... Hopefully... Oh, nearly. Sludge, that's... yeah, that's a powerful poison move. And poisoned, because of course... Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Was that... Is that toxic? The sludge inflict toxic. Huh. Okay, good. The hit landed. Wow, 1200 experience. That's so good. Ooh. You may have won this time, but all you did was make Team Rocket's wrath grow. Yeah, 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 whatever. So... Let's use an antidote. I have ten. Now nine. And we'll definitely patch you up a bit. Um, do you have anything worse than a lemonade? Oh, potions. Perfect. Use one. Use two. 
I have so many PP ups. I need to think about which low PowerPoint moves I have that would be worth getting more. But I might just save my PP ups for when I'm like facing the Elite Four relatively soon. Because that's going to be a big gauntlet. Having more PowerPoints to work with on certain moves would be great there. Oh, who are you? you you're kind of familiar. You were at the radio place in Mahogany, weren't you? Ariana, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time, hee hee hee, this time, it looks like you're really all alone. All alone. I need an adult. So it should be quite easy. Read it. Let's finish this. I don't need no level 40 Dragon Knight to carry me. Three Pokemon. Starting with Arbok. I don't mind the Intimidate. Matoya is a special attacker. Okay, so... This first one's level 32. This trainer fight is definitely a threat. Glare. That... Lowers attack or speed? One of those. Or is it defense? Guess we'll find out this turn. Crunch! Ooh, that's dark type. Hmm. But Matoya's just that tanky. Plus, Arbok's kind of weak. Not the best physical attacker. Might want to consider swapping out. Vile Plume! Well, that's a fully evolved Pokemon. Okay, I... Part of me is tempted to just use an Ice Beam right here. Slow Kings are special walls. Their special defense is higher than physical defense. That said, if this thing uses a really powerful Grass-type move, it might be enough to KO. Instead, I'll just swap to Armin. You quad resist everything. Uh, you quad resist grass, so. You're definitely the right choice for this job. Mega Drain. Yeah, I think that's weaker than it is in later generations. I think that's like a 40 or 60 power. It really wouldn't have killed Matoya, but. It really is best to err on the side of caution here. Yeah, tanky. There's Acid. No fear of poisoning, though. Armin is poison type. And now we're in a great opportunity to U-turn, if need be. And Armin leveled up. Good. Murkrow. Really, just Murkrow. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm kicking your ass! <laughs> yep, flying is neutral to flying. Nightshade, that's gonna do a flat amount of damage. 32 health points, but... What, what, why are you so strong? It's because I'm an anime protagonist. I win with the power of friendship with my Pokemans. Aye, this can't be happening. I fought hard, but I still lost. What a waste. Not to use your strength to do bad things? Feh. People like you will never be in a, uh, never in a million years understand our brilliance. It's too bad. I've really come to respect your strength. <laughs> uh... Gosh, what's behind that door? That looks like an elevator. Well, it's probably a pain, so it's a brace for that pain. Let's use that lemonade. Gonna patch up Matoya. And patch up Armin. While I'm here in Goldenrod, I probably should buy some more. How many Poke Dollars do I own? It's been a long time since I looked. 64,000! 
Wowee! Also, my score is 2,622 for some reason. Wait, is that like my best score at the Pokeathlon Dome? Touch card to flip. Oh, that's online stuff. Cool. Are you ready, Matoya? Matoya is on the lookout. I mean, you do have eyes in the back of your head, so you're really good at that. <laughs> Observation deck. Ooh, climactic spot for a final battle against Team Rocket. Okay, if Giovanni isn't here, I don't know where he will be. Hello? You're not Giovanni. Hoomstiv? Archer. Oh, you managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. Oh crap, Giovanni's in a training montage. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. This guy looks lame. Okay, three Pokemon. Wearing a sharp white suit. Houndour! Oh man! Okay. That is a dark type. Matoya's weak to that, but... Houndour and its evolution Houndoom are special attackers. And unfortunately for it, this family really suffered during the physical special split, because now... Dark type moves like Bite and Crunch are physical, so I don't think I have much to worry about. It is part fire, so Surf. Faint attack. Never misses. Whoa, that actually did more than I thought it would. Interesting. Well, it is level 35, so maybe I'm just too used to fighting low level stuff. Houndoom! Level 38! Okay... So this thing's definitely gonna throw out a Dark-type move. Oh god, what if it uses Pursuit? Oh my god, if it uses Pursuit, Matoya would die. Oh my god. I want to swap out to Sabine. Sabine resists Dark and can fight it in turn, but... This is actually pretty scary. I think it's even too risky to heal. Maybe I should just go for Surf here? Oh my god, if it has Pursuit and I swap out, Matoya would die. It can probably take a hit. I know it's a high level. And I know it's an evolved stage compared to that Houndour, but... I have to believe it can- Matoya can take one hit, unless... Now it probably knows Crunch. I... am going to risk this swap. I think I have to. Or do I want to use Leviathan? Yeah, you know what? Leviathan might be a better choice to swap into. Oh god, this is actually kind of terrifying. Here we go. No pursuit. Oh! Okay. Okay. Bite. Yeesh, okay, that... Okay, that probably would have killed Matoya. I think I made the right call completely. Aquatail. 
Don't flinch. Right, this should one hit Kale. Leviathan strong. Yes. I want to see this Houndoom was Archer's ace. A well deserved level up for Matoya. Coughing. Yeah, alright, alright. We can't have you getting in the way before news of our resurgence reaches Giovanni. Leviathan's pretty weak. If this thing does self-destruct or explode, it might actually kill Leviathan pretty easily, so... I'm gonna swap... to Lich, immune to self-destruct moves. Plus Shadow Ball can take this thing out. Sludge. Okay, well, Lich is part poison, so we're good in that regard. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball. Right on. I wouldn't call that victory easy, but, is it, but it was flawless. No, forgive me, Giovanni! How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task at all. Like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Wow. What a sore quitter. I have a prediction. I think this guy's gonna give me a Master Ball. It feels right. Oh. You have already defeated them? Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. You are well worth this. Please take it. Oh. Rainbow Wing? The hell's a Rainbow Wing? There used to be a tower right here. When the tower was replaced with the radio tower, that Rainbow Wing was found at the top of the tower. I heard from a friend from Cyanwood City that you can climb the Bell Tower in Ecrantic City when you have a Rainbow Wing. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh <laughs> Okay. I almost forgot. According to my friend from Sinewood City, the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go up to the top of the bell tower with only that rainbow wing. Apparently there's something else you need, or something like that. I wonder what it was. I can't remember. What? Are you expecting something? This is what they call a fake out. Uh, yeah, um. Well, we did it. <laughs> I guess the rockets are defeated. For good, maybe? Uh, no, nah, I'm expecting the rockets to show back up in Kanto. Um. Anywho. No, I can't look out? Okay. Well, let's go talk to that guy in his office. Here I am back in Mahogany. The radio owner guy didn't have anything new to say. Um, so I do have the rainbow wing. I, wait, who are you? Who the hell are you? Oh, is this, has this become a genuine shop? Um, anyway. I could pursue this Rainbow Wing. I could pick up the Trail of the Mystery in Cyanwood. I could learn what to do with it. I could go and fight Ho-Oh, probably. Or I could wait. I could just level up more. Get to a higher level. Like, the rules of this Nuzlocke demand that before I win, I must defeat every single fight in the game. Ho-Oh is surely one of them. But I don't need to do it right now. It can wait. 
Oh yeah, I guess this would be a regular shot now. Whistle, whistle. That's me, my false teeth don't fit right and the gap makes a noise. Well stop breathing through your mouth. Your mouth breather. Ooh. Oh right, I completely forgot to buy lemonades. Oh. You know, I don't think we ever did check out the Pokemart. Um, wait, this town doesn't have a Pokemart. Oh my god, it doesn't. I didn't notice. Well, we can wait until the next town. So, let's head to the next town. Route 44. New area. New trainers. That's a psychic user. In that case... Bring out Aramin for bite. I'm quite interested to see what the levels here will be like, because to get to this point, I had to beat Chuck, Jasmine, and Price. This better be good. I'm gonna win for sure. Two Pokemon, Psychic Phil. Not to! Oh man. Haven't seen one of these yet, I don't think. So Armin may be weak to psychic moves, but it's faster and powerful. Plus, if it looks like I won't one-shot it with bite, I can use U-turn, which is also super effective. Kadabra. Ooh. Yeah, let's let's U-turn on this. Get out of there. This is more powerful than Bite, too. Ah! Critical hit. Doesn't matter. Arg, that's a shocking loss. Not even gonna bother with the apricorn. I'm not even gathering them anymore. Max Repel? Hey! That's really nice to get. So, there's water, but I have plenty of water types. Show me grass. Oh, I could use Faith to headbutt out here. But I prefer grass. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, I guess we're fighting you. Don't send out an electric type. Don't send out an electric type. Rhyhorn? Whoa. And that's rock and ground. Uh. We're gonna use a rock type move. Okay. You turn out of here. This is not a job for you, Armin. Wow, look at that damage. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, Matoya is our best pick for this. Maybe Sabine, but I don't know. Scary face! You fool. I am already slow. I am the slow king. Stomp! That's not rock at all. Well, between these Hound Hours and Hound Dooms and Natus and Ry Rhydons, or Rhyhorns? the name. We're seeing a lot of new Pokemon. That's a good feeling. If a Pokemon has different colors than usual, it's more valuable. What? You mean that's not true? Um... No, colors are pretty, man. And Ultra Ball. Oh, that just screams hidden item. Hello. Yeah, knew it. An elixir. I think that restores the power points of every move a Pokemon knows. Wait. Surely this isn't the entrance to the town. A trainer. Entrance to the cave. Okay, well, the cave can wait. I need to catch a new friend, man. Wait, so there's really no grass? 
Ugh, fine. I'll go fetch Faith. Sure. Um, I gotta say it's evolution. And by Palm, I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. But I guess a new Pokemon's a new Pokemon, so... Let's start out with a Quick Ball. How do I have 10? Oh yeah, for sure. Wow! That's interesting. Fury swipes. Oh, that actually does respectable damage. For a multi-hit move? Eh. Four times, okay. Uh, quick Ball won't work again, so... Yeah, let's use Spore. Ton Pass, whoa! That's a useful move, buddy! I like that. If I could teach you Swords Dance, you could be a good uh, setup Pokemon. Yeah, Substitute Swords Dance Baton Pass? I wonder. I, I'm not familiar with Ambi Palm's stats. Hmm. And it woke up. Yeah, just keep using Baton Pass, fella. Eh, once more, for good measure. Tickle? The hell move is that? Attack fell? Defense fell? That's a funny move. I didn't know about that, I don't think. Uh, forget the sleep. We could just use a Pokeball right away. Great ball, go! I hope it doesn't know a recoil move. Like takedown. Welcome aboard. So what the hell do I name you? The Long Tail Pokemon. Its tail is so powerful that it can use it to grab a tree branch and hold itself up in the air. Um... Yeah, let's nickname it. But what to nickname it? That is a question. Okay, I don't really have a basis for this one, but... This Apom just feels... It just feels like a Brayflox. In Final Fantasy XIV, Brayflox was a goblin who was obsessed with cheese. That feels right. And also Brayflox was a lady, just like this Apom. So now... Let's head into that cave and snag a catch there. Then I'll double back to the PC, get my real team going. Ice path. Oh, give me a swine up. I need a swine up. Give, give, give swine up. Give it. Give to me a swine up. Please? Okay, not you. I already have one of you, so... Duplicate's claws in place. But I'm not gonna risk running. No, sir. Uh... Yeah, Leviathan. I'll just deal with you there. Jinx! Man, I wanted a swine up. 
gosh. <sighs> All right, guess I'll have to deal with this. I want to swine up. I feel so snubbed. <laughs> okay, making that pun made this worth it, maybe. Quick ball, let's see what we do. <sighs> okay, so it's ice type. Um, I'm pretty sure Ketchy's quad weak to ice. And I can't escape now, so that's not good. Spore? Uh-oh. Um, Ketchy, this might be it for you, friend. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Powder Snow's just really weak. False Swipe. I doubt Slash could one-hit KO it, but then again it is level 22, so... You never know. Oh yeah, well look at that. Slash would have killed it. So now, let's use one of those Moon Balls? Or Dusk Ball, yeah, yeah. Good against Pokemon in dark places like caves. Right on. Ah, <sighs> well I'll tell you this much. If I could have caught a swine up, I would have named it Umaro. It was a perfect nickname. Umaro was a snow yeti. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. So then I have this caricature. Jinx, the human-shaped Pokemon. What what kind of human though? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Nintendo? Hmm? It rocks its body rhythmically. It appears to alter the rhythm depending on how it's feeling. Oh. That sounds like a dancer. Hmm. Yep, okay. What do I name this thing? Oh, right. Duh. This is... This should have been incredibly obvious. Shiva! Welcome aboard. Shut up, Ralph. Not in the mood. Right, let's explore this properly now, shall we? So, here's my squad. This is what I'm taking with me. Um... I am leaving behind a lot of unfought trainers back at that route at Route 44, but I feel overleveled. I feel like fighting them all would kind of just be a waste of my time. I'm not hurting for money either. I might come back later and explore further. So, I want to hit Blackthorn City by the time we finish this video, so let's get trucking. <gasps> Ice physics. Let's do it. I slip and I slide. There's someone. A Pokefan? You're a trainer. Um. I kind of do want to fight you just to test the waters. Oh no, it's Cameron! Okay. Stardust Crusaders, let's go. Well, everyone got their eyes in the frame, so I guess that counts. Thanks, Cameron. I slip there, I slide there, I go there, and then there. Down, up, right. Oh yeah, I'm so good at those. Hmm. What is up? Oh. Well, I want one of those. An uh, item. HM07 Waterfall? Oh my god! I. Whoa! Presumably, I need the gym badge from the 8th gym to actually use that in the field, but holy crap, that's gonna open so many avenues of exploration. Let's have a look at it. I don't actually remember the stats off the top of my head. Power of 80. 100 accuracy. Oh my god, is that... 
Is that better than Aqua Tail for Leviathan? Hold up. Okay, you can use it. What are the stats of Aqua Tail? Um, 90. So I'll be trading 10 power for 10 accuracy. And the utility of an HM on the field. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. Why not? More power points, too. I'll gladly and freely teach that to Leviathan. And probably not many else. Oh, actually, Pirogo, my Polyrath, might learn that. That'd be really good on him. I have to investigate that later. Oh, I'm glad I stopped by and saw that. I haven't run into any wild encounters yet. I'm not using a repel. The item you picked up over there. It was an HM, wasn't it? I am the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it, right? It contains waterfall. Have fun climbing waterfalls, small child. Me? I still need a new pair of shoes before I can enjoy waterfalls. Wait... Does Intimidate the ability to keep wild Pokémon away? I know some abilities have on-field effects. Oh, well, maybe not then. You know, between my Bite, Waterfall, and Ice Vein on Leviathan, if you squint your eyes a little, you can pretend I have a Feraligator. This is pretty much what Feraligator would be if I had one. Oh man, so there's gonna be strength block puzzles too. Ugh. I assume... Falling down those holes would... Make me go down a floor. I feel like I should use strength to push those into the holes, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe these become, like, barriers I can hit onto, uh, I can just run into on the icy floor on the bottom floor? Maybe? That's my best guess as to what these are for. Okay, we need to get that down, so... Push you there. Then straight down, so where they can go. The side, down, down, mm, down, up, and into the hole. As for the rest, I assume I want to just stick to the closest hole to each. Uh, yeah, I'll start with this. Move that up. Come back to that later. Oh, swine up. Oh, friend. I could have had you. Oh, well, whatever. Down, down, down. Wait. Yeah. Wait. No. This. Push it here. Now we loop around a bit. Careful. Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, come on! That's everything in all the holes. So let's head down with that ladder. 
see where we end up from that. Ah, I knew it. Oh yeah, it would be some bullshit if I had to use strength on these boulders even now. Hmm, wait, I should go the other way. This way. Yeah, I'm liking where this is going. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's an item to the side. I want that, though. Oh, come on. These wild Pokemon have some great timing. Stop taunting me! Yeah, um, Mamoswine is one of those Pokemon I've always wanted to use. Full heal. And this should take me straight to the item. Good. That's a matter of returning to the start and uh, tracing my steps. Left, down, left, up, right, and down the ladder we go. Oh. Crap, did I bring Rock Smash? I did not. Oh, what's that item though? What is that item? Is there anyone who can learn Rock Smash on the spot here? Probably... Probably Sabine. Maybe... Ifrit. Lich? Really? Anatoya? Yeah, you know, that's just straight up weird. I think Ifrit does have some useless moves. Let's... Let's have a look at what you have. Okay, you have... Okay, Smoke Screen. Yeah, I don't care about getting rid of Smoke Screen. Flamethrower and Swift is all I really need on that guy. <laughs> Using my eight of my starter as an HM user. Oh, the sacrilegiousness of this. It's like some sort of blasphemy. This better be worth it. Oh, and never melt ice. That is a held item that improves the power of ice type moves. It might be good on um, Shiva or Matoya, but I quite like the Quick Claw Matoya. Okay, still not out of the woods just yet. Ladder up, really? That is interesting. Where does this go? Whoa. This looks involved. Or perhaps this is just for an item. Oh, I know what to do. Oh, another ladder up. Whoa. Okay. You strength and put it here. Head down up to the side, and get the item. An iron! Meh. So what's up here? Huh, it keeps going. A protein, also meh. That is one of those geishas. Is this a critical path? Is this a way out? Me oh my, is that you, Zephyr? Fancy meeting you here. To tell the truth, my sandals are frozen in the ice and I am stuck here. In other words, my flip-flops are quick frozen to the ground. Teehee. Well, it's no laughing matter. Would you push my back? Shove. You really are kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, sure. I see cave light over there, so that's the way out. For now, let's grab that item. That's not right. I need to get to... Wait, how would I... Oh. I get to that. 
I would- Ah, I see, I see, I, I see what to do. I go here. Easy. <laughs> Pee -pee up. <laughs> it's funny. Funny, funny letters. So I'm not done with this cave. Let's return. Right, so I never explored this floor. And boy, I'm realizing that the swine up are the extremely common encounter here. And the jinx are extremely rare. Getting mad. I'm getting real mad. Anyway. Oh! Avalanche! What is- well... I'm in the mood for Final Fantasy, what with these nicknames, so... Avalanche is a nice sight. Uh... What does that do? 60 power, 100 accuracy... Double damage if the user has been hurt by the foe in the same- That would have been so good on Swinub. I'm not gonna use that jinx on principle. Okay. Oh, really? You just you just couldn't let me get through. Stop taunting me! <laughs> I wanna squish you. I wanna hug you up. <clears throat> Swine up. <sighs> I'm kind of surprised there's no trainers. Well, here we are in Blackthorn. Um, gosh, I guess our only hope for finding another swine nub might be someplace in Kanto. Like maybe the islands east of Cinnabar, I want to say? Uh, whatever that island place with, with uh, Blaine is. Oh. Listen, we're, we're in a city, but you look like a trainer. What gives? Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. Damn straight. I don't see any trees to headbutt. Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. Okay, what's in the house? Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair female? Want to trade it for my Dodrio? What a ripoff! Oh, your Gyarados! It needs to work a little harder. If it does, I'll give your Pokemon something nice? What happens if I show you someone who's been with me for a long time, like Armin? Yeah, poor Ifrit, shafted. Your Crobat. What? I have no idea what this one wants then. Not the wrong spot. Okay. Weird. Hey, there's a Pokemon Center. And a Pokemart. There was this move I just had to teach my Pokemon. So I got this move deleter to make it forget an HM move. Are you he? Deep inside far off Indigo Plateau is the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. I'm on my way there. They say that behind the Pokemon Gym is a special cave for gym leaders to train themselves. Ooh, might have to take a look. Speaking of taking a look, let's meet our new friends. Br 
Brayflox, the Apom. A uh, bold and often dozes off. Minus attack plus, plus defense. And has run away. Well, I still maintain that maybe if I evolve it, if it can learn Substitute and Swords Dance, and I combine that with a Baton Pass, that could be a really good Pokemon to use. And Shiva, brave and often lost in thought. Plus attack, minus speed. And for Warn. Special attack is pretty good for its level. Huh. Oh, and it's holding an Asper Berry. I guess I'll take that. I think that's a brand new berry, and I can plant that. So what do what do Aspares do? Oh, defrost. Well, that's already covered by Lum. So man, I would guess that the gym here is ice, but no, that was the seventh gym. I wonder what the eighth gym is. It's not it's not dark, because I know that there's never been a dark gym. So what's here? Netball. Dusk Ball. Eh, don't really need those. Okay, might, might, I might be interested in buying some Max Repels. Now that I have some money to my name, yeah. Fight, uh, 15. After all, I'll use these forever, so these are the best Repels. So expensive. Are you going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? Maybe. Move your leader and move Tutor House. Oh, I'm quite interested in seeing the move Tutor. Which is which, I wonder. Who did you say I was again? Oh yes, I remember. I'm the move deleter. I think he deleted his own memory. The Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can make Pokemon remember those moves. It'll cost you. Wait. Can I... You'll only take the heart scale if... I go through with it, right? So, what can Matoya learn? Power Gem. Yeah, sometimes Pokemon, um, especially trade evolutions or stone evolutions, they can learn moves that um, they didn't actually learn by leveling up. They were just hidden memories, I guess. That's pretty good. A special rock type move. That's some pretty good coverage. Yo. Do I want to replace Yawn? I could, but I'm kind of saving Yawn for maybe Calm Mind to raise special attack a lot, so I don't know. Well, if, if Power Gem would be good in this gym, I'll consider it. Okay, I need to look at my heart scale count. I had six. Yes, I do have six. He only takes him if you go through with the learn relearn. So how about Aramin? Cross poison. Oh baby! Finally, I can use same type attack bonus. High crit ratio, 100% accuracy, 70 power, may leave poison. Oh, that's a good move. 
That's a really good move. Oh, I'm doing this. Okay, U-turn is obviously a keeper, so... Oh man, can the Fuse Ray has 100 power? Crap. Man, I get so much usage out of Bite. Uh... Well, to be honest, when was the last time I actually used Armin to Confuse? Maybe Whitney? Yeah, I guess I'm fine with this. Cross Poison's just too good. Oh, power up for Crobat? Awesome. So look at that. Um, rearrange the moves a bit. Put that up there. You turn last. There we go. So who else can learn neat things? Yefrit. Gyro Ball. Meh. Yeah, nothing I'd want to change. How about... Lich. This could be really interesting. Uh, no, actually, I don't think it has anything that is innate and not from level up, so... Never mind. I would have loved Sludge Bomb. Sabine. How about you? Low kick. Eh. Nothing. And Leviathan. Oh, Thrash. Mmm, it's powerful, but it takes up multiple turns, so no. Okay, nothing for Leviathan. I will absolutely have to make a point to look at all my Pokemon and see what they can learn. There could be some really good stuff hidden, just like that cross poison. Teach a move. Which move? A dragon move? Oh, none of my Pokemon can learn the dragon move. Not even Leviathan? Really? The ultimate moves? Teach me, oh sensei. Um, can Sabine learn the ultimate move? Probably have low accuracy. Oh. Wait, are these like, like a frenzy plant and blaze burn? Yeah, I nailed it. Let's have a look at what Bla blast burn does. Okay. 150 power, 90 accuracy, the foe's raised by a fire explosion, the user must rest on the next turn, however. Ugh, I wish. I'd, pr I'd probably do that in a regular playthrough, but not here. Not in a Nuzlocke, where every turn matters. A clan of trainers who can freely command dragon-type Pokémon lives right here in Blackthorn. No shit, there's a Dratini right there. As a result, there are many legends about dragons in this town. Ah yes! Legends, myths, fables, fairy tales. Uh, yeah. Wowee. What's up here? Wait, did I speak to you? Oh. This is a weird layout. There's a gym. Hey. Those trainers called Dragon Tamers are all from... Okay, it's probably a dragon gym. Uh-oh. Leader Co... 
Claire, the blessed user of Dragon Pokemon. Well, there's obviously the Dratini Dragonite Dragonair family. Aren't there... Isn't there a new dragon type in Generation 2? It's not Tyranitar, that's dark and rock, or dark and ground. Is there a dragon type in Gen 2? Oh man, I am completely blinking. Anyway, what do you have to say? Claire, our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Well, I guess it's an open invitation to a challenge. Wait, what's in the water behind it? Eh, we can explore that later. Oh, maybe I can catch a new friend there. We haven't caught anything in Blackthorn yet. Santos? It's Saturday? I'm Santos of Saturday. Take this? Oh, soft sand! That boosts ground-type moves. Soft sand. Okay, Santos. Thanks. Uh, what's over here? Hidden item. Gotta be. No. I am bamboozled. Hmm. And finally, what's down here? Route 45. Ooh. Well, that is something for a completely different video. My, my. Well, I see no trees, so that water in the back is definitely the one and only place I can catch a new friend here. Huh. Well... If we're gonna face a dragon-type gym... Because the fairy type doesn't exist yet, our only answer is ice. Well, we got Matoya for that, but Matoya is just one Pokemon. Oh, and Leviathan. Leviathan knows Ice Fang. And I suppose we do have Jinx. I could actually level up Jinx, get her to learn Ice Beam from the game corner. Yeah, I absolutely could teach her that. Um. Wow, I, I was saying I hated Jinx for stealing my swine up from me, but I might just use Jinx in this gym, maybe. Wow. Huh, anyway. I'll probably delay fighting the gym immediately. I want to explore uh, Route 45, see what's down there, level up a bit, and we'll, we'll just test the waters, see what's what, so... Yeah, I'm glad we dealt with Team Rocket, perhaps for good, but I really wouldn't be surprised if they show up again in Kanto. Joey? He blesses us once more. How are you? Let's get together and battle. Oh! I've been waiting. Let's battle now. When Joey requests something of you, you answer. <gasps> Top percentage radicate! Oh man. Oh wow. Ouchie. What are you doing using a dark type move on a fighting type? Oh. You're toying with your food, are you, Joey? Hmm? No, I'm out of Pokemon that can fight! And yet another loss, no doubt about it. You're tough. Being beaten this often actually feels good now. Here, take this. Use it to get even tougher. That will toughen me up too. And HP up. <laughs> okay. Catch more Pokemon. More top percentage. Um, right, where were we? Oh yeah, um... 
Yeah, we'll do some more exploring next time. Put off fighting the gym as long as we can. Just to get more powerful. So, in the meantime, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please take care.